welcome grade 10 students. I am your English teacher, Sir Evan Reedy Paul. Before we begin, let's start with a word of prayer. Let's put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have given to us. Help us, Lord, and guide us as we learn our lesson or topic for today. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For your attendance, please fill up the Google form sent to you by your teacher in your group chat or GC. Here are the class rules for this class. Number one, respect. You need to respect your teachers and classmates. Number two, follow. You need to follow the instructions given to you. Number three, listen. Listen carefully to the videos or lessons given to you by your teachers. And number four, learn. Learn and have fun with this subject. Before we proceed to the discussion, let's have first an activity. The activity is entitled, Information Check. Here's the instruction. Think of an information you have heard in the internet. Then determine if it's real or not. Write your answers in your notebook. You may pause the video as you answer. Thank you for participating, students. Now, here's the questions that you need to answer and ponder. Did you know that the information you've heard can help a lot of people? Have you been scammed by fake news? What was it and how did you find out the truth? With that said, what do you think is our topic for today? You're right if your answer is using information in everyday life. Did you know that information is facts about something or someone? Bear in mind that if something is far from reality and just made up, then it is not information at all. Informative texts, speeches, panel discussions, and news reports are all good sources of information because they are backed up with facts. We need to remember that not everything we see or hear in social medias are informative. Some of them are fake news. Here are some examples of information sources. Books, encyclopedias, magazines, databases, newspapers, library catalog, and internet. Now, what are the types of information sources? The first one is the primary sources. These sources are first-hand documents that provide direct evidence on your topic. You can rely on this source because it is a raw evidence from the author. Here are some examples of primary sources. We have original documents such as diaries, speeches, correspondence, interviews, manuscripts, government documents, news film footage, archival materials, autobiographies, creative works such as artworks, novels, poetry, music, architectural drawings or plans, photographs, and film and relics and artifacts such as pottery, decorative arts, buildings, buildings, textiles, and needleworks. The next one is the secondary sources. These are accounts written after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. They are interpretations and evaluations of primary sources. Secondary sources are not evidence, but rather commentary and, and discussion of evidence. Some of the examples of secondary sources are as follows. Bibliographies, biographical works, commentaries or criticisms, conference proceedings, essays or reviews, histories, literary criticisms such as journal articles, magazine and newspaper articles, monographs other than fiction and autobiographies, reprints of artworks, textbooks, and websites. This could also be considered as primary. 
The last one is the tertiary sources. These are summaries or condensed versions of materials usually with references back to the primary and or secondary sources. The examples are as follows. Tertiary sources, almanacs, abstracts, dictionaries, encyclopedias, and handbooks. So that's it for our lesson for today. Now, here's the application questions that you need to answer and ponder. Number one, for you, why is information important? Number two, what are the different sources of information? Number three, why is it important to get information from reliable sources? Last but not the least, what do you do with the information that you receive or read from different sources? Very good, students. Now let's assess what you have learned for today. Let's have our assessment time. For numbers 1 and 2, read this information below. Question number 1. What tone is evident in the statement above? A. Angry B. Annoyed C. Disappointed D. Impatient The correct answer is letter A. Angry Number 2. What is the purpose of the statement? A. To persuade other leaders to help stop terrorism in the face of health crisis B. To inform all the leaders that terrorism is still evident in spite of these trying times. C. To express frustration behind the terrorist inconsiderate deeds. Or letter D. To call for peace during this health crisis. The correct answer is letter B. To inform all the leaders that terrorism is still evident in spite of these trying times. 3. What is meant by the underlined words in the sentence below? The great powers will continue to draw us into their respective camps. We should continue to nibbly engage them in ways that most benefit us. A. Dangerous weapons B. Supreme beings C. Influential countries D. Terrorists The correct answer is Letter C, Influential Countries What is an example of a tertiary information? A, Encyclopedias B, Photos C, Biographies D, Speeches The correct answer is Letter A, Encyclopedias Last question it is a first-hand document that provide direct evidence on your topic. What type of information is this? A. Secondary sources B. Primary sources C. Tertiary sources D. Important sources The correct answer is letter B. Primary sources Thank you very much for participating. Good job, students. You made it. For your assignment, look for two information in the television, internet, books, etc. Determine if it is a primary, secondary, or tertiary source. Write it on your notebook. Thank you very much students for listening. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. See you and goodbye.